Hi, this is Bill with Machinery Consultants, right here in Salt Lake City, Utah. We'd like to thank you for your time to preview this Geminus model GE650, European built, heavy pattern, high precision lathe. This particular machine happens to have 27 inches over the bed, 128 inches to 132 between centers, so we'll call it 10 foot of centers and change, and 16 inches swing over cross light. We're super excited to have this machine installed here in Salt Lake City, Utah. This machine just showed up from a, uh, a facility that had very, very limited use. It's extremely well maintained. This machine is probably from the mid-1990s. Again, it's from the Lagoon, the public green machine tool, Gemini's, Gemini. So the European design machine, inch threads, metro threads, inch feeds, metro feeds. Very convenient, well laid out machine. Dripping with tooling. Here's tool posts, uh, tool holders, tree number one and two. That goes with the Alores DA. What speed you say we're running up, Frank? 45? Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and see what you got. Minute and a half in. How do you pronounce it? Gemini? Geminis? Gemini? Geminis. 200. That's 200 RPM. The machine goes from 16 to 1250 RPM with 18 changes. Hand on. On your right hand shoulder. Lever engagement from the saddle, as well as from the head start. change heavy pattern machine with the steady uh, with the uh, rear mounted taper attachment steady rest speaking of steady rest one can be added from a like a Kingston HD 26 something of that nature uh, price upon request the base would need to be slightly modified real nice heavy pattern tail stock with the number five horse taper that's 56 rpm coming in on the rear of the here the frame, 20 horsepower main drive, currently wired at 460 volts. It's 260 RPM. T18 cam lock. Three and change on the spindle board. We get the ways on the front side next. Not clear. New all DRO, two axis, pre-mounted, has the Microson on the cross light. Here's your three inch spindle board. Coming around on your left, right? Pushing up on the ways. There's a real heavy pattern 18 inch four jaw chuck. We closed the jaws up for safety's sake. But again, that's a heavy pattern 18 inch four jaw chuck. That has the one piece top jaws. It's a steel body chuck, very heavy pattern. Coolant. Power rapid drivers. Coolant system on here is actually pretty cool. 
Speaking of which, it has the hose down here. Coming off the feeds. That's your power rapid driver, it's lever operated. Changing over to your left. What do we have, saddle feeding in? So thread chasing dial, inch metric threading, inch metric dials graduated. Those are gorgeous. Let's try to show the DRO in the same perspective shot. We were at the numbers moving if we can. What we have is the headstock mount for the new all C80. We freshened up and put on a new Microsoft rod for the cross light scale. Very nice and clear. That's a nice bee right there. So every type of threading that's available is on this European built machine. The machine was built in Spain, I believe, at the Gemnus factory, division of Lagoon back in the day. Should we show off some of this tooling? Okay, six minutes in. Again, being a D18 spindle taper, we have the D18 face plate. I'm gonna kill that fan, Jerry. back to the ranch. Face plate for a D18, large oversized. Full nose life center, a three point interchangeable system here. Two heavy pattern life centers. This is what we call loose change gears. This is for, I believe, a couple versions of your DP thread. This is a 48, this is a 69, a 50, it's probably a 42, and a 44. Couple of tool holders, the original literature on the Gemini's GE650. Now let's talk about the electrics. Okay, this particular machine is currently set up for American USA electrics. It's wired here at Machinery Consultants at 460 volts, three phase. Here's the electrical schematic. And when you look at the tags, you'll note it reads in KV, it was 12.5 on the rating, it was 20 horsepower main drive, and it was 15 kW. One kilowatt is 1.3 horsepower. So 15 kW equals 20 horsepower main drive. Showing you the main drive motor coming back. The bottom of that tripod, man. 20 horsepower main drive. Here's the little coolant motor. So the power out the traverse motors on the front. All contained. You want to show off that tail stock? See how we're being lengthy. Should we show them how beautiful that, that operates? Mm -hmm. Sure. Nice. Again, it's a number five Morse taper. We've crammed a uh, number five Morse taper to Jacob's drill chuck in there. It's graduated on the spindle. All right, well, if there's anything else we can help you with on this machine, please feel free to let us know. Machinery Consultants here in Utah. Perfect. The serial number on this machine is going to be 4811HV. So did we show off the spindle, uh, the spindle tooling? Um, we have the chuck, we have the digital readout, we have the, uh, the tree one and tree two consisting of Alorus and Dorian tool holders, Jacob's drill chuck, we have the nice uh, face plate with the smattering of life centers. Pretty well tooled up. He has the Alorus on the DA, it's the Alorus uh, DA tool post. What we're going to offer is a three-jaw chuck. If anyone needs a D1A three-jaw chuck, let us know. We stock the 10-inch, uh, the, the 12-inch, and the 16-inch in the D1A three-jaw. We grab a 20-inch as needed. Well, until next time, be happy to be healthy. We're here at 801-531-9500. MCI at machineryconsultants.com is the email. This happens to be our Genesis model, GE650. Thanks again. Until next time, be happy to be healthy and have a great day. Peace.